Hello and welcome coders to the Sky Coding. So from today onwards, we are going to start a new series of Snowflake that is Snowflake Hands-On Practical Series. And in this series, we will cover all of the Snowflake practicals, including case study questions, which we will uh, use in the real-time project. So in the previous session, we have covered full course of the Snowflake, and there is a full Snowflake series which I have created in my channel. You can watch that full Snowflake course series from the description box. Okay, suppose that you have once deployed in the real-time projects, then you will not perform better without doing hands-on practice. Okay, that's why we have started this Snowflake hands-on practical series so that you can just perform better in the real-time projects okay because we are just taking lots of examples of the case study questions which we will see in the real-time projects okay so, so this will be our first tutorial of this uh, snowflake hands-on practice and uh, first of all see etl processing in snowflake after that we will see continuous data loading we will see incremental data loading elt we will see oltp otl we will cover lots of things in this hands-on practice okay so let's move ahead and let's uh, understand first of all the etl processing in snowflake so the full form of etl is extract transform and load in snowflake okay so first of all we will just learn some of the concepts of this etl processing then we will do the hands-on practice so that you can better understand this thing because concept is very important first of all you should know about the concept that what is etl okay so the definition of etl is very simple it is a process in data warehousing of pulling out the data from the different sources and putting that data into the data warehouses okay so this is basic the simple definition of the etl and the etl full form is extract transform and load first of all in the first step we will perform the extraction of the data and in the second step we will do the transformation of the data and in the third step we will do the loading of the data okay so this is a basic definition of the etl means we in the etl we are just extracting the data from the different sources and we are just doing some of the transformation on that extracted data and after that we are just loading that data into our data warehouses okay as you can see here the diagram is also given extract transform and loading okay we are just extracting the data that data may be come from any of the rdbms software that from sql server on any of the flat files means csv psv parquet json file okay and we will do the transformation in the staging area and after that we will just load that transformed manipulated data into our data warehouse okay so this is the basic simple definition of the uh, etl processing okay so let's move ahead and let's understand this thing with the flow diagram okay then you will better understand this thing okay this is basic the diagram flow diagram of the uh, etl that is extract transform and load okay as the etl suggests that first is e e for extraction okay so we will just extract the data in the first step okay so here this is our first step this is our source system this is our transforming area means transform or you can say it as a stage and this is our loading area means we will just load the data into our target system or the consuming layer based on your type of project um, how you are performing there okay you can call that thing like that way okay so in the first step we will do the extraction okay so you can just extract the data from any of the databases that will be mysql oracle sql server no sql or any of the databases you can use any of the database for extracting of the data okay so in the first step we are just extracting the data from any of the databases okay and you can extract the data from the crm or erp tool crm full form is customer relationship management okay as a salesforce is a crm tool okay so you can just extract the data from there and the third source system here is given web or app servers okay so you can just extract the data from any of the web web server or you can just extract the data from any of the cloud locations as well you can use the azure you can use the aws s3 bucket you can use the gcp as well okay so you can use these things for extracting of the data okay or you can use your local system as well you can use your local system directory means you can uh, take the dot csv dot pc dot json dot parquet files as well for uh, extracting the data okay so these are the sources which i have told you in the first step you have to just extract the data okay and from where you have to extract the data you can use any of these things you can use any of the database any of the crm tool any of the web or app server you can use csv psv tsv file or you can use the local system for extracting okay so these are the some of the source system which i have told okay so in the first system we are just extracting the data from these things and in the second step we will just perform some of the transformation to that data that transformation may be of insertion, updation or deletion. Suppose that you have extracted some of the data from Oracle, okay, and 
you are just uh, performing some of the transformation or you are just manipulating that data in the manipulating what you are doing you are just uh, means uh, in editing that data okay you can uh, say that editing that data okay suppose that you are just inserting some new records into that data you are just uh, means updating the old records and suppose that you are just deleting some records okay so that's our second step and you will just perform this transformation in the staging area okay so this is our uh, transforming area or staging area where we will transform the data or where we will manipulate the data okay so this is our second step where we will transform the data okay and in the last step that is our third step for loading the data so after transforming that data manipulating that data we will finally load that data to the data warehouse okay that is our target system or you can say the consuming layer okay where we will consume the data okay so this is the uh, basic uh, full diagram ex explained about this ptl processing okay in the first step we are just extracting the data from the various source system and in the second step we are just transforming manipulating that data and in the third step we are just loading that data okay so that is the etl means extract transform and load okay extraction transformation or loading okay so this is the diagram of this etl okay so we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical of this thing okay and in the target system after loading the data we will just uh, use the visualization technologies for just uh, visualize the data to the business owner so that he can take the better decisions okay so this is the diagram of this okay so let's move ahead and let's understand uh, in by using the use case okay so let's move ahead okay so here this is basic the use case of this etl okay we have discussed this thing already and let me uh, explain this again okay so you can see we have told you that this is our source system means data preparation data is prepared here this is your source from where you will get the data okay so you are just getting the data or you are just extracting the data from the sql server oracle any of the other databases SAP, hana or you can ex use these databases for extraction or you can use this uh, these files as well you can use the excel file csv file psv file tsv file json file pdf file dot txt file okay so you can use all these things for extraction of the data okay so first in the first step we are just extracting the data and in the second step we are just transforming manipulating manipulating the data and after that we are just loading that data to the data warehouse also, okay so this is our etl extraction transformation and loading okay and after that loading the data suppose that uh, we have done extraction transformation and loading we have finally loaded the data and after that what you will do you will use the visualization technology visualization technologies there is a one visualization technology that is tab blue which business owners uh, which uh, there is a suppose that there is a one analytics team he will just analyze that data so how he will analyze the data you must have seen some of the graphs there are some pie graphs and uh, lots of graphs are there where uh, we are just seeing uh, that graphs for analyzing the data analyzing the sales in the market okay so we will basically use this visualization technologies after loading for just visualizing the data suppose that there is a one analytics team or visualization team okay so that visualization team what he will do he will just take that loaded data from the data warehouse and he will just create a graph by using the tab blue software he will just uh, visualize his that data and he will just uh, perform some of the visualization tools and he will use those tools and he will just visualize that data and he will just send that data to the business owner or you can say client or analytics team or the marketing team so that marketing team business owner can just uh, recognize that uh, what are the sales and what are the profit he is getting from that market or all those things he can recognize okay and he can just perform bet their services better by just analyzing the data analyzing the customer needs only any person can just uh, improve their facilities improve their uh, improve their services okay so that's the visualization technology will help here okay so this is basic the use case of this thing okay so uh, suppose that let's guys uh, take one scenario of this suppose that uh, let's take an example of geo okay so geo is having his offices everywhere in india okay so suppose that in up also it is having uh, lots of offices okay in uh, Lucknow, Kanpur, he is having lots of offices, okay, in one city, okay. So, suppose that if Mukesh Ambani wants to analyze their sales, okay, and profit of every 
office okay so how he will recognize this thing how he will came to know that uh, his uh, which office is in profit and which office is in loss and where more sales is going on and where less sales is going on okay so how you will recognize that thing okay so and uh, he can't go to every office and see that data and also he cannot check the full database as there are lots of big data present in the database he can't see the full database and okay so how he will just recognize that data okay and uh, take their decisions in this case okay so in this case this visualization team will help him okay so this uh, team will just take the data in the visualization format including various charts and uh, they will just visualize that data and create the chart and they will just show to Mukesh Ambani that this is the chart and these are the sales okay so now it will be easy for Mukesh Ambani to analyze the data and improve their sales by seeing their charts okay so this is possible due to this ETL in this way this will help all of the business owners to improve their sales in the market and to analyze the data and to analyze the customer needs okay also suppose that there is a urban festival going on in any of the particular area so the sales will be more in that area obviously the sales will be more in that area because there will be a lot of traffic in that area okay so how the business owner will analyze that data and how they will send more stocks to that area okay so they will just use this visualization to just visualize and analyze the customer needs in that area okay so that's the uh, some scenario which i have discussed for this visualization thing okay so this is basic the use case of this ETL extract transform and load okay so we, you will better understand this thing when you will do the practical okay so we will do the practical later on first of all it's very important to understand the concept of this ETL why we are using the ETL and what is ETL extraction transformation and loading okay so let's uh, move ahead and let's understand one more concept there is a one more term that is ELT okay so let's understand that thing okay ELT ELT same as just uh, ETL only in the ETL we are just performing the we are first extracting the data then in the second step we are just transforming the data in the last step we are just loading but in the in this ELT we are just extracting the data and after that we are directly loading the data we are not transforming that data we are transforming the data later on okay First of all, we are extracting the data and in the second step, we are directly loading the data, okay? And in the last step, we are transforming the data, okay? So here also, there are source systems are same. You can use any of the databases, any of the streaming system. You can use Internet of Things, IoT or sensor system. You are just getting the data from any of the sources. And in the second step, you are just loading that data directly to the data warehouses or the data lake. And in the third step, you are just... Uh, transforming that data manipulating that data okay so this is ELT means in ELT we are just extracting loading and then transforming but in ETL we are just extracting transforming and loading okay so this is basic difference between ELT and ETL okay so we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical okay so let's move ahead and let's see some of the similarities of ETL and ELT okay so with both ETL and ELT allow business owners to consolidate data from multiple databases and other sources into a single repository with the data that has been properly formatted and qualified okay so both etl and elt as i have told you that both these things elt and etl allow the business owners uh, to extract the data from the various sources you can use any of the cloud location you can extract the data from any of the database available in this world you can extract the data from your local system you can use the csv psv tsv json file as well for the extraction okay this unified data repository for simplified access for analytics team okay so as we have uh, told you the example of the zero that uh, how he will just analyze the data okay so this will help in analyzing the data for analytics team as well okay and snowflake supports both etl and elt works with a wide range of integration tools including informatica talent type okay so snowflake supports this etl and elt processing and we are having lots of etl tools you can use for just visualization technology you can use informatica talent type bloom met and others okay as i have the knowledge of this tab that's why i have told you that we will use this tab for this visualization of the data and we will just show that data to the mukesh ambani so that he can visualize their sales and he can take their better decisions according to the customer needs okay so you can use any of these etl tools uh, visualization tools for just visualizing the data okay so that's the basic simply uh, similarities between etl and elt we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical okay so i hope 
uh, it is now clear about this etl and elt that what is etl and what is elt okay in the extraction we will just extract the data transformation we will just transform the data and in the loading we will just load the data okay and if you are having any of the doubt in this concept etl or elt you can just comment and so that i will just help you out to solve your queries okay if you are facing any of the doubt you can just ask me i will try to help you out shortly okay so that's all for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and guys the second part of this video is very important you have to watch that video because in the second part we will take case study questions of the real time projects and we will perform the continuous data loading incremental data loading uh, so that you can better perform these things when you are deployed in the real time projects okay so it's better to watch the second part as well because in the second part we will do the practical of this etl okay where we will uh, use the uh, use the snopy for continuous data loading we will use the streams and we will use the task we will just automate all of the things we will not perform anything manually we will just automate all of our things we will use snopy for continuous data loading from the in our bucket into the table and we will create a stream and we will create a task for these things okay so that's all for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and the link of the second tutorial practical tutorial will be given in the description you can watch from there and don't forget to watch the second video of this because that video is very important that's all bye take care of yourself guys